hello and welcome back to my channel this is caitlin from caitlin plans and today i'm mixing it up a little bit i'm going to be making a goal setting insert for this week uh that i'm going to keep in my catch-all planner so i'll show you what i did for last week's like weekly goals insert and then i'll um create a new one for this week kind of by moving some things over that i didn't quite finish or like thinking of new goals or reassessing things so that is the plan for today i'm using this dot grid paper that's coming out of this notebook right here. This is one of my favorite like happy notes just because it's blank dot grid paper and that's really hard to come by these days. So in my catch-all planner I have this week's goal insert which is right here in my weekly spread. It doesn't match the weekly spread. I, I wanted to mix it up a little bit. So I used the modern meow book for this one and I thought it turned out really cute. I think I set too many goals though. Um, I think I need to kind of prioritize and kind of really assess like what's a goal and what's like just a to-do list item. So um, finishing up some papers was like number one on the list, doing some filming, um, sending out Etsy orders, which I did do that. Cooking like a real dinner, which is always a struggle for me, but I actually made some like tacos from scratch, um, like unpacking stuff trying to get some clothes donated, which I don't know if that's a goal. That's more of a to-do list item. Um, finishing a book, trying to set up a giveaway on Instagram, which has been taking me forever. And then finally working on some sticker designs for my next collection. But I'm going to kind of reevaluate as I work through this week's spread or this week's insert. As far as stickers go, I have the Indigo accessory book for like boxes. Last week I did bullet points. This week I might want to do boxes. I'm not sure yet. Um, the According to Allie Snowflakes, which are clear. And then I have some remaining stickers from this first winter page of the Whimsy Lux sticker book. There's also some boxes in here that I could use if I really wanted to. I'm just not sure yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started with this. I want to keep this pretty simple because I am going to be using it for goal planning. So I'm going to do like a cluster of snowflakes up here in this upper right hand corner and then one in the lower left hand corner and then the whole like middle section of this page will be like where I write out the goals. Like I felt like I had a productive week but I really didn't get like a lot on that list accomplished. I got a lot of like to-do list items accomplished but like I think I need to like learn a little bit better how to prioritize the goals over like to-do list tasks. And what I mean by like to-do list tasks are things that like the world won't end if I don't do them in like the time frame that I've kind of like given myself for them. So something like, I don't know, um, doing, doing the laundry, like laundry can pile up for a couple days and like, that's fine. However, papers have harsh deadlines on them and I miss those deadlines and I'm still like trying to get the edits done. In grad school it's a little bit more flexible with the with the deadlines but I really want to get these papers done. So thinking about like what has like a time set deadline on it versus like what probably should be done, what could be done, but doesn't necessarily need to be done right now. And maybe it's just me, but when I'm procrastinating on something else, I find myself very productive on um, the things that I never want to do any other time of the week. So I just folded a bunch of laundry before this video. I was putting off paper edits, so I folded some laundry. But yeah, I don't know. Like I'm productive and I really want to clean when I don't have to clean. So I'm doing like clusters of three for these and then we're gonna flip over into the year of planning book I don't really know what's on this page yet okay we got some mittens some like winter bear okay I think I can deal with this this baby it's cold outside is really cute and I can put that down on the bottom it's not actually that cold outside here it's like I want to say like 25 degrees Fahrenheit so it's doable um it's not sub-zero temperatures, so I don't really mind it. And also, we don't have snow. Um, so that makes things a little bit easier, especially with, like, driving. I um, My car is in the shop, and 
They're expecting to have it done by like early to mid February, just because the mechanic that my um, parents go to is out of town until like the beginning of February. So I am currently driving a very scratchy old minivan. I mean, I'm thankful for that minivan, but it is a lot more difficult to park than I anticipated it being. So I'm putting some winter wear over here with this cluster. They're kind of jutting out though. So I'm gonna fill in the gaps with some of these stars. And these um, like goal sheets don't necessarily need to be the most decorative thing in the world. I could literally just write a list of goals on a sheet of dot grid paper and have it do the same thing. I just wanted it to look pretty. So I'm gonna take a smaller one to fill in a little bit of a gap that I'm seeing right up here. I think that makes it look a little bit better. I should probably repeat that process down here, but it doesn't feel like as big of a cluster. So I'm thinking about like, if I wanna really bring in these other elements, I'll, I'll hold off on that for the time being, but I will put in like maybe two of these little asterisk snowflakes to keep it um, balanced out. Going with the purple one up here. Looking good. Okay. And then I saw some letter stickers in this accessory book. So I'm going to take navy blue letters and just write goals across the top. I already counted and I don't have the right amount of letters to write weekly goals like I did last week. So I'll spell goals and then probably take like a zebra click art pen and do the weekly like in my own handwriting above it. I have this zebra click art pen, although it doesn't tell me what color it is. I think the number might tell you something. It's number 31 if that makes any difference to you. But I'm going to use this to like hand draw out weekly right here. And it doesn't matter if it bleeds through the paper or not. It didn't actually bleed through. It's a little ghosty, but it didn't bleed through. Just because I'm not going to be writing on the back side of this, so it doesn't really matter in the long run. I'll keep this off to the side because I'll probably want to write the dates underneath for what week this is. Because weekly goals is a little vague. And I like everything to be nice and clearly labeled. Do I have any O's? Yes, okay. Worst case scenario, you take a Q and you cut the little tail off of it, and then it's the same thing, essentially. I've gotten pretty good at my alphabet sticker surgery. You need to be when you're dealing with these, like, happy planner books that only have, like, one or two sheets of the alphabet in any given, um, like, pattern. And I run out of certain letters so fast, and then I always have, like, the same, um, like... I don't know what letters I would have extras of, like U's. I would have like a whole bunch of those in every single set of alphabet letters I have, but never enough like S's or E's. So we got weekly goals. And then this is gonna be for January 24th through 30th. So taking that click art again, and this time I'm just gonna print it to kind of balance out the little like cursive script up top. Okay, so that looks good, and I'm thinking maybe instead of the boxes that are in here, and I'll show you the boxes that are in here, they're like tie-dye or like indigo, as the title might suggest. I feel like they're going to be a little too busy for the spread. So I'm going to take this mild liner. I actually got this at Michael's recently in their like single stock My Michael's um, mild liner section, and this one is dark gray. So in comparison to the light gray, which is the one I normally use in like all of my daily spreads, I love the light gray mild liners. It's a little, like obviously it's darker because you know, dark gray and light gray. Has a little bit more of like a blue purpley undertone to it. So I'm gonna use this one to like make the boxes. And I'm thinking what I didn't do last week, but I should do this week is kind of group them out into categories. So I'm going to pull in my other weekly goals insert. So this way I have kind of a general idea of what's getting moved over and like how many things need to go into like each box. And I'm going to just start by kind of like gritting out a series of boxes that I can um, 
like fill in with tasks. So I'm gonna speed this up, but just gonna draw out a bunch of boxes. Okay, so I accidentally connected them. There is a reason that I don't bullet journal on this channel, at least. I have been playing around with the Archer and Olive journal, and I ordered their collab with Simply Gilded, and I just love it. The washi tape and the journal are just right up my alley. But a little whiteout in between, and it's like nothing even happened there. Um, so I have these two boxes, and normally when I'm like drawing boxes with mild liner on dot grid paper, I have like my face like right on top of it to like make sure that I'm not going over the dots, but it's a little harder when I'm reaching forward to like get this on camera. But two boxes down, I think that looks good. And obviously more boxes will be added in as I move along, but I'm just gonna start like kind of filling things in. So this box, the first one is gonna be school because school is gonna be top priority this week. So I'm labeling that. And the goals that I'm moving over are these two seminar papers from last semester that I got extensions on and just need to get done. They're both in the editing process right now, but the edits are taking longer than anticipated and I just wanna get them done with. I wanna know if there's like little checklists in here. I remember kind of seeing some like checklists. This isn't the right color, but that's close to what I'm looking for. This one actually could be the right color because it kind of matches these like periwinkle snowflakes. And I don't think that one's right either. So this is gonna be good. I'm gonna take one of these for the school section and I'm gonna cut it so it has three bullet points. I'm moving two goals over from the previous weekly goal sheet. And then I'm gonna add in one more for this week. And this will fit nicely in my little box. I hope maybe it needs a little bit more cropped off. Okay, so I trimmed it up slightly smaller and I think it should fit a little cleaner now. Perfect, so that top bullet point's not gonna be right on top of where it says school. I will save this singular bullet point because that might come in helpful for like a category where I only have one goal or I need to like piece together different checklists to make it work for what I need. I'm going to take my black Papermate flare pen and transfer over these goals right here and I'll be back in a second. I'm thinking about what needs to go in that third bullet point and I have a couple ideas that I'm like playing around with in my head. I know I need to send out an email to the classes that I TA but that's more of like a um a to-do list item versus a goal. So I'm not gonna put that on here. I think like something that I want to aspire to, however, is putting aside like a specific amount of time each day to do reading this week. That way I can get ahead on like readings for this week and next week. And also like have all of my work done before the classes or like the days of the classes. So I'm gonna say an hour and a half of reading time each night. Okay, so that one is the school category. And then to think about how I could group the rest of this, um, I think another area that I have like a few goals in is like my Etsy shop. So I'm trying to get some designs made for the February collection. I'm trying to get like orders packed and shipped out. I am um, trying to like take inventory of like the stickers that I have on hand, all that fun stuff. So second box is gonna be Etsy. And I only really need like two bullet points for this one. So I'm going to take another one of these lists and cut that in half. So my first goal, which is kind of a move over from last week. Last week's weekly goal was to create two like sticker sheet designs for the February release. And I didn't even do anything for that. I thought I, I thought about it. I brainstormed a list of like what is going to be happening in the February um release but I just have to like 
put those into action. So for this week, I want to get five drawings done. And I have some downtime where I could get like five st sticker sheets completed. So I think that's a pretty like achievable goal. It's a little bit on the aspirational side, but I think it's doable. And I have some ideas and I'll share with you in this video. Um, one of the collections that I want to release in February is like gallery wall themed. So like I'm thinking like little knickknacks and picture frames and like shelves of books. Uh, I feel like it's cozy, it's homey, and it doesn't like necessarily like tie to a specific season, which is why I like it. So first Etsy goal is going to be five new sticker designs. And then my second goal is to get all of the orders from National Sticker Day shipped out and I think that's actually going to happen this afternoon, today being Monday. I'm filming on Sunday night, but on Monday, I think the rest of the National Sticker Day orders will be shipped out. There's been a little bit of like a extended processing time on the shop lately because life happened, but I'm back to like kind of dealing with stickers on a day by day basis rather than like having them kind of pile up. So the second goal in the Etsy category will be to ship out the remainder of the National Sticker Day stickers. And then um, I'm just going to like take it as they like as the orders come in from there. So that's going to be the second goal. And that brings us to the end of the Etsy box. So now I'm going to take my mild liner once again and create two more boxes underneath these so that I can plan out a few more categories of my life. Alrighty, so those are all drawn up and what else do I have to do? Okay, I think one of these is going to be self-care and that'll probably be a repeat of this cook one real dinner prompt because I'm trying to like cook one actual meal each week rather than kind of relying on like leftovers all week or those prepackaged Caesar salads from Target that I love so much. Um, so that's going to be in the self-care box. And then um, I want to finish this novel. I've been working on it for a while. I actually do not like the book, but I'm one of those people, and I don't know if any of you are, um, I'm one of those people where I can't, like, start um, a novel or a TV show or a movie and not finish it. So even if I like start a movie and I hate it, I need to get to the end of the movie to like see how it plays out. It's like one of my awful um, character flaws is that I need to finish every single movie that I start. I am just like not one to leave it to the imagination. I need to see how the movie ends. So with, with this novel, I started it in the beginning of January when I was like, I'm going to read books for fun. And I picked a book that I hated as my first one. I think my like biggest mistake was not reading the inside pages of it when I was at Barnes and Noble. And I just read the back of it. I'm like, this sounds really interesting. But the writing style is completely different on the inside of the book than it was on the back of the book. And I just hate the writing style. So we're going to move those two books or two prompts over to self care for this week. And um, real for real dinner has to be in asterisks. That's just a, a rule when it comes to goals because I need to highlight that like getting a prepared dinner is not a real dinner. I have to actually cook something. If you could let me know down in the comments like what your favorite meal to cook is and I'm looking for something easy, um, not something that takes longer than an hour and um, I would just like love some recipe suggestions or like meal suggestions. Even if the recipe says it takes half an hour, it always takes me like about four times what the recipe suggests because it's like me like washing my hands in between every single step and like making sure the meat is cooked with the thermometer and all of those things. So easy is the key word here. I'm not a very experienced cook. <laughs> there were a few little like um, 
mishaps with the pen in that one, like this E in behind turned out wacky, but I'm just going to let it happen. It's not like the end of the world. And then um, other things that I have in here, I think I'm just going to make this like a miscellaneous box. So we're going to title this one Misc because I cannot spell the full word unless I look it up and my phone is currently filming. So that's not an option. Gonna take another one of these and I think I'm gonna do three bullet points for this one as well. And this will be kind of like the run over box of um, things that didn't fit anywhere else and like also not my top priority of goals. They're kind of ranked in order of priority with like school, Etsy, self-care, and then like random. So I have my little checklist. I hope it fits. I feel like these boxes are like one row shorter than those boxes. This should be fine. One thing that I want to learn how to do this week is paint my own nails with like gel polish. Um, I ordered the starter set online. I normally go to like the nail salon and get them done, but I don't really like the nail salons in the town that I like go to school in. I like them better like where my boyfriend lives. So I'm going to try to save some money and start trying to do my own nails. We'll see how that goes. It's not necessarily a goal, but something I want to try out this week. Um, miscellaneous is gonna be, let's see, definitely want to get all of my bags unpacked from winter break because I feel kind of like claustrophobic surrounded by like unpacked luggage. So that's gonna be the first one over here. The next thing that I want to put under, um, miscellaneous is get all of my clothing like hung up and sorted or like folded. I have so much clothing that's just kind of sitting in laundry baskets right now, so... I'm trying to think of a way to make that like an achievable goal and I think it's just gonna have to be like an hour block of like three hours of sorting clothing and that kind of feeds into that uh goal of donating two bags of clothes to Goodwill. I have like a trash bag and a half of clothing on my bedroom floor right now that's like donate stuff but I'm not going to go to Goodwill until I finish like filling the bags. So I'm going to put that on my miscellaneous like goals thing. Three hours of clothing sorting and folding. And I think the last thing I want to do under miscellaneous um, is zero out my personal inbox because my like personal email, not my like work or school emails, has like 4,000 unread emails in it. And most of it is like marketing promotion stuff. So I'm working on like deleting like a set amount each day but I want to just like get rid of a lot and I also need to like work on like unsubscribing from mailing lists that some of these I didn't even sign up for I think my like email address got sold to like some kind of like uh, marketing firm or whatever because I'm on like a bunch of random mailing lists so I'm just gonna go through and like delete everything and unsubscribe from a bunch of things that's like another project that I want to get done this week so we're just gonna write zero inbox. And I think as far as goals go, that's a good like list. Um, I think it's 10 of them total, which is the same as this one, which I started off this video by saying, I think I put too many goals on the list. Well, I guess 10 is the number we're sticking with. I do feel like it's kind of bare down at the bottom. So I'm going back with these according to Allie Snowflakes. And I'm just gonna kind of continue the snowflake theme across the bottom section of the spread to make it um, a little bit more balanced instead of having all this random blank space hanging out over here on the right. I love her clear stickers so much. They're so pretty. I had thought about using these clear snowflakes in like quite a few winter spreads and I never ended up doing it. So I'm happy that I have them for this. Even though they're only going to be sticking around for a week. Although I guess that's kind of like the time that like a regular spread would stick around too so i don't feel bad using them on this kind of insert i have a couple more stickers in here that are like let it snow and a candle but i think that's just gonna look a little random in what i have currently so those will just get saved until next winter i suppose or like another thing that i do with my daily planner is use like stickers that i only have a few of them left so if I have like an ice skate a scarf and some mountains I'll put them in my daily planner versus like trying to make an entire spread with them 
This one's gonna get crapped off the page and then I'll use the other half of it elsewhere on this insert. I will be using all of these little asterisk stickers. So this one's gonna go down here now. I've got one more. I can leave the little like confetti twirlies in here. That doesn't bother me as much. Um, I'm gonna put half of it down here and then the other half will go like up there. I was just about to say, I hope we get snow this week, although we're back in person this week, so I really hope we don't. Although if there were a week to have, or a time to have snow, it would probably be while I'm driving this minivan because my own car does not handle very well in snow. It's very low to the ground. This video was kind of random, but I think I needed it for accountability's sake. And if anything, I hope you like are thinking about like your own weekly goals and how you kind of want to tackle weekly goals. This is something that I only recently started. So I'm thinking maybe each week I'm going to make a goals insert for my planner. Whether or not that's on camera is a different story, but so having something like this kind of keeps me focused on what I'm trying to achieve that week. I'm just kind of thinking about like what I want to do with that blank space over there. This isn't going to help me, so I'm going to put that off to the side. I think what I'm going to do is actually take some washi tape and just do a vertical stripe down this, age, this end of the page. Um, this one tore when I was trying to peel it up. The paper in this, um, like, Happy Notes is some of the older Happy Planner paper, although it's not great quality. It tears with a lot of different stickers, so I don't know. Maybe the quality has never been that good to begin with. Maybe I'm just kind of nostalgic for the old days of, like, Happy Planner products. Um, anyway, I am taking this According to Alley washi tape. It is like a hexagon print, and I think the stars are going to show through it, or the snowflakes are going to show through it. That's the aim. I'm putting this stripe of it, like, right here, tearing that edge. A little wonky, but it's fine. And then I'm going to take this hat once I kind of clear up some of these sticker fragments off the back of it. I couldn't peel all of the paper backing off of it, but I think it should be fine if it still sticks. Um, otherwise, I can use my glue pen and just kind of um, reaffix it to the page. I just don't want it to layer over the snowflakes, so I'm moving it down slightly. Okay, that looks fine. So we've got that going on. And I even like considered trying to do some kind of like a percentage tracker of how much I've accomplished this week with like boxes to fill in that go upwards. But I feel like that's just going to be too much and a little too gimmicky. So I'm going to leave it at that. I do like the washi tape though. I think that's actually a really cute design element. Um, inspired in part by the great Planner Bay over on Instagram. Uh, she always does this really cool vertical washi striping in her daily planner, so taking inspiration there. I'm going to go ahead and pop this onto the discs for next week. It's just going to go in the middle of my Clueless themed catch-all spread. It has nothing to do with Clueless, but that's where it's going to go in the planner. And there you have it, my goal planning insert for this week. I had a lot of fun making this one. I think the stickers are really cute together, and I do like this bullet journal kind of inspired stuff. I wish I had centered it in retrospect. That's a lesson learned for next time that I make one of these, but I think it's cute and I like the blue. The touches of blue are really pretty with like the marker and the checklists. It is kind of inspiring me to get a little bit productive tonight. I had one of my goals for last week was to get ahead on filming YouTube videos, so that's what I'm trying to do tonight. But here you have it, my weekly goals for January 24th through 30th. Let me know down in the comments what is your top goal for this week? Let's keep each other accountable. I had talked to uh, my planner bestie M from Plan With M and we were talking about like keeping each other accountable for goals and I think that in part I also have to keep myself accountable uh, rather than like passing that responsibility off to another person. So I'm making these planner inserts for myself to kind of like visualize what has to get done. So there you have it. If you liked this video, hit that like button down below. You can also subscribe to my channel for more fun planner related content and follow me over on Instagram at Caitlin Plans where I share after the pen photos as well as photos of spreads that did not get videos. Thanks for watching and happy planning.